Thanks for clicking on the video. My name's Tom Alsop, and today I'm gonna to show you how to develop the perfect kinetic chain for the serve. And that's gonna include a good racket drop, coming up to the ball on edge, and pronating through the shot. Now, in order to master this, you're gonna need a tennis racket, obviously, a ball tube, and an ax. Now, before I bust out the ax, I just want to talk briefly about these three positions that I've decided to discuss in this video. One, the racket drop. Two, staying on edge. Three, the pronation. Now, the first two happen for the same reason most of the time. And they happen for good reason. If you're not an advanced tennis player, what you're going to do is as you get into your trophy position, instead of letting this racket drop and swing around and kind of lose track of where it is, people tend to get in this trophy position and then go right up with their hand to the ball because it's a safer way to hit the thing, right? So if you're starting out, it makes total sense for you to shortcut this move and just go and square up the racket head. So I wouldn't call it wrong, I'd call it sensible if you are just starting out because it's gonna allow you to just control that ball a little bit better. But as you get a little bit better, and you start to throw the elbow at it, this racket's just gonna be left behind and then it has to catch up. You're gonna get more racket speed, but the timing's gonna be more difficult. It's just like hitting a forehand like this is not wrong, but if you lag it, you're gonna get more power. It's gonna be harder to control, but you will hit the ball harder when you time it right. Now, when it comes to pronation, it's pretty simple. It's way easier than the racket drop and staying on edge because all it is is rotating your arm. And even if you have an Eastern grip, you can still rotate the arm around the body and start to learn how to pronate. So finish with the right side of the racket you've hit the ball with, facing your left leg, and that's gonna teach you how to pronate through the shot. Now, if you have a continental grip, which is kind of the, I guess, the end goal for everyone who's trying to hit the ball hard and with spin, you're gonna need pronation to be able to square the racket head up on contact, right? If, you, if you're not pronating into the shot, you're gonna be in this position. So you need to pronate the arm into the shot, but then just allow the arm to rotate around your body. A lot of people get into trouble because they're trying to like do all this stuff. Like, did I pronate? It's like, well, I guess, <laughs> but you just have to, rotate the arm around the body gradually and you get the pronation, right? So think about it as arm rotation. Just like when you're hitting a forehand, the arm rotates. When you're hitting a two-handed backhand, the left arm rotates. You're just trying to rotate the arm around your body and you're gonna have plenty of, plenty of pronation. You don't have to do it up here with this big wrist snap. So you guys may have seen the exercise where you swing a sock, you'll get a long sock, this is not that long, put a couple of balls in the end so there's a bit of weight to it and you swing it around like this. And it, and it trains you to have a coordinated service motion because if you were to do something like this, you know, it starts hitting you in the back or it just gets all loose and weird. So you wanna keep it tight and it's pretty useful. But I don't like this as much as using the ball tube. Now you may have seen me helping people using this. It works great. And the reason it's better than the sock is it, you're swinging that thing. This is kind, not swinging you, but it's guiding you and it's giving you feedback if you do it incorrectly or correctly. So what I wanna see happen here is just to feel like we're swinging this around, we're not picking it up, lifting it, or doing anything too funky. We're letting it swing, and it should look something like this, where it feels effortless. Again, if I start doing things a little bit weird, it's gonna give you feedback. It's gonna feel like, it's gonna feel awkward. Now what, what you need to, to do to get this uh, technique right is swing it back here into your trophy position, let the tube drop down your back, feel the weight of it, and then roll your elbow out before it completes the full drop. So it's gonna drop down the back, 
but just as it starts to drop behind my head, elbow is going to come forwards and I'm going to start to kind of throw my elbow forwards and rotate my arm through the shot. Sometimes I feel like I'm a little bit forwards here, but I can try and stretch up and you can see how much I'm able to rotate my arm through the shot. That's that pronation you're looking for. So every part of the serve is going to get cleaned up by using the tube. Now what I do, just to prove my point, is to use the axe. This thing is heavy. It's like four pounds. Obviously all the weight's right here. It feels heavier than four pounds. Don't do this. Don't, don't chop your legs off and then, and then blame me. I'm just using this as a, as a demonstration. But you can start using something a little bit heavier, something in between the ball tube and the axe. I'll show you that in a minute. But what I want to do, just like with the tube, if I don't move this right, it's going to feel heavy. It's going to feel ridiculously heavy. It's going to injure me. So I want to feel like I can do this motion. Oof. And again, it's really training me to do the right things. I can't, I literally can't do the wrong things. I have to use all my parts of my body in the right way or it's going to feel ridiculously heavy. Now, if you were paying attention there, what you're going to find is the racket drop is going to happen because I can't come out of it early. I can't come here and then come out of it like some players do when they don't have a racket drop or when they're not on edge. And I'm going to stay on edge because as I drop the racket here and I get my elbow here, I'm just going to be on edge and it takes me so long. I can't square the racket head up from here. <laughs> I can't. I got to use momentum there, but I got to stay on edge here and then I got to rotate it because of the weight of it. All right now. Also, there's a lot of people who hit the ball like this. The arm and the racket are in a straight line. With this axe, it rotates on the inside, which is what you're looking for on, a, on your contact. Now, one thing you can do so that you don't chop your legs off but you get, a, get the idea is fill a ball tube up with some, some, some balls here. Maybe I'll, put, maybe I'll put six in. Now we've got some weight to this and we're not going to kill ourselves. And you can swing this around. Now the weight, it feels a little bit heavier. And again, we don't want the balls to fall out. If you do it incorrectly, it's going to start falling out maybe. But with this weight in the end, again, it trains me to feel like I got to use my body in the right way. And if I don't, if I do something like this, it's going to feel not only they're going to fall out, but it's going to just feel weird on my body. So again, it trains you and gives you the feedback that you need. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did and you like the way that I go about teaching the serve, check out the other videos I've done on this subject. I've put them all in a playlist. Check them out. I'm sure there's going to be plenty of stuff in there that's going to improve your serve. Talk to you soon.